Hello and welcome. I'm Bill Mulligan and I work at the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And I'm here today to talk to you about the Cloud Native Telco. If you're not familiar with the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, it's one of the largest open source foundations in the world. It focuses on the Cloud Native infrastructure that controls applications from the hardware all the way up to the applications. It provides the foundation of the technologies that keep us connected every single day. We host over 80 open source projects, including projects such as Kubernetes for container orchestration, Prometheus for monitoring, and Envoy for service mesh. But beyond just our graduated projects, we also have other levels of projects that are in the more experimental phase, including our incubating and sandbox projects. These projects represent what's new, exciting, and cutting edge in technology. CNCF members span the whole range of industries um, and verticals, and we have some of the world's largest cloud and software companies, including AWS, Apple, Arm, and AT&T. But beyond just these big brand name members, we also have over 600 members, including many innovative startups shaping the future of computing. And our members are now expanding into the telecom industry too. Our latest platinum and gold members are AT&T and Cox Communication. And the reason that members are now joining us from the telecom industry is that they're seeing the evolution from NFV, network function virtualization, to CNFs, cloud native network functions. NFE was originally designed as a way to virtualize network functions and run them on multiple clouds or bare metal environments. CNFs or cloud native network functions extend this paradigm, allowing network functions to be run on top of Kubernetes, whether they be containerized in virtual machines or just running on bare metal themselves. If you're wondering what cloud native actually means, CNCF provides a great definition. Cloud native technologies empower organizations to build and run scalable applications in modern dynamic environments, such as public, private, and hybrid clouds. Containers, service meshes, and microservices, immutable infrastructure, and declarative APIs exemplify this approach. These techniques enable loosely coupled systems that are resilient, manageable, and observable. Combined with robust automation, they allow engineers to make high impact changes frequently and predictably with minimal toil. The Cloud Native Computing Foundation seeks to drive adoption of this paradigm by fostering and sustaining an ecosystem of open source vendor neutral projects. We democratize the state of the art patterns to make these innovations accessible to everyone. And beyond kind of these technical worlds, there's actually a real business impact that's driving telecoms to adopt cloud native practices, technologies, and ways of working, including better resource efficiency, allowing telecom companies to run the same number of services on less servers, saving them cop CapEx and OpEx, improve resiliency and availability. Despite failures of individual CNFs, machines, or even data centers, Telco companies can continue to provide the critical services on which we all rely on to stay connected with one another. In addition, cloud native allows companies to run across multiple cloud or hybrid cloud environments. And cloud native infrastructures enable increased developer velocity, increasing the rate at which we can improve our services while reducing the risk of change. Now, this isn't something that we're talking about in the future. Telecoms are adopting cloud native technologies today. In a survey that was done last year, <clears throat> asking what level of adoption does Kubernetes have in your organization? Telecoms answered, they're already running Kubernetes at large scale production deployments. Over a quarter, over half of respondents are already in production with Kubernetes. Not only that, but 50% of respondents expect to be in large scale production deployments of Kubernetes by this summer. 75% will be in production by this summer too. Cloud native is not something that's off in the future. It's something that's happening today and we need to get on top of. And this is why CNCF has created a lot of tools, technologies, and initiatives to help the telecom industry 
understand what cloud native is and take advantage uh, of this transition, including creating cloud native principles, a telecom user group, the CNF working group, a CNF test suite, and the CNF test bed. Now, everything that we do is about open source. And the biggest thing in open source is collaborating with the community and be open to contributions from one another. And this is no different in our telecom initiatives too. We see the wider telco industry as an important part of what we do. And we seek to engage and share across the whole telecom industry, including participating in the XC plug test, collaborating with Linux Foundation Networking on their new kit, OPNFV and OVP programs, contributing upstream into our cloud native technologies like Kubernetes, Network Service Mesh and Falco, interacting with ORAN, OpenAir Interface and Equinox Metal, and interacting directly with telecom service providers and developers to understand what their needs, wants, and real desires are. Now to dive in some of the initiatives that CNCF is doing, I'll start with the Cloud Native Network Function Working Group or CNF Working Group. Now the goal of the CNF Working Group is to provide an upstream definition of what makes networking application cloud native. And this will allow downstream projects to have a common understanding of what cloud native actually means in teleco environments. These best practices can be adopted by both CNF developers and operators alike, bringing them closer into alignment and easing the integration of new cloud native network functions into networks and onto platforms. What this group does is write up use cases, best practices, and gap analysis to help the industry understand what cloud native actually means in the telecom context. And individuals and organizations who incorporate cloud native best practices can do it alongside other standards. For instance, with the new Etsy NFV specs. Now, we are really open and welcome to participation from people across the industry. If you want to be part of the group that's shaping what the best practices are for cloud native network functions, then please join us every single week, the CNF groups Mondays at 1600 UTC. If you want to learn more, check us out on the mailing list in the CNCF uh, Slack under the CNF working group or join the discussion on GitHub. If you want to see how this group works and operates, all of our recordings are available on YouTube. Now, all that we're doing in the CNF working group, all the best practices that we're creating, all feed directly into the CNF test suite. The CNF test suite is an open source test suite for self validation of cloud native network functions and the underlying telecom platforms. It provides visibility into how well CNFs and the platforms follow cloud native principles and best practices. It allows CNF developers, operators, and service providers to go and self-test how well their networking applications are following cloud native best principles and practices. It's based on concepts from the Kubernetes conformance program and Project Sonoboy and consists of a test framework instead of tests for the workload and the platform. Now, what the CNF test suite is testing for is across a variety of different areas, including is the network function implemented as a microservice? Is it compatible um, with the different platforms and infrastructures? How does it manage state and is it, does it do it in a cloud native way? How does it manage security of the actual application? Is it scalable? How is configuration managed? Is the application observable? Is it installable? And how does it react and how resilient is it in the face of failure? Now, once again, feedback and contribution is very welcome in the CNF test suite. If you want to, the best way to get involved is to try out the CNF test suite and then provide feedback either in a GitHub discussion, a GitHub issue, or as a pull request. We love to have contribution and people that are trying this out in real world uh, scenarios. Please check the contributing docs for more information about how to get started. Now, all of these initiatives together, we really see as something we're doing together with Etsy NFV. We really look forward to working with Etsy on both the CNF working group and the CNF test suite. In fact, 
the CNF test suite was already used in the experimental track at the Etsy plug test in February. And as an offshoot of that work, we're continuing to examine how the work of Etsy NFP overlaps with what we're doing in the CNF working group. I really see that Etsy and CNCF have the ability to push NFP towards more cloud native ways of thinking, working, and operating. If you wanna learn more about how telcos are going cloud native, please join us at our co-located event, Kubernetes on the Edge Day and Magma Day at KubeCon, May 3rd and 4th. And please attend KubeCon Europe, May 4th to 7th. I would love to see you there. And please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. With that, uh, thank you for coming today. I'm always happy to connect and collaborate with different people across the community. So please feel free to email me or reach out to me on Twitter. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.